a little bit later today. Heading up the East Coast, we've got delays in Memphis and Charlotte with some locally soaking thunderstorms, but boy, is it a beautiful day to be traveling to the Northeast. From D.C. right on northward into New York and Philadelphia, no problems. Could be a morning thunderstorm or some low clouds in Boston this afternoon, though. Looks fine. Expecting to see mostly cloudy skies to start off the day. Temperatures by the noon hour already near 80 degrees and we'll also see higher humidity as we do see those winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then as we move into the later parts of this evening, we'll see that warm front approaching our area. That could bring us a chance for some, some, some. Still going to see those southwest winds 5 to 10, so that's going to help keep those humidity levels up through the day as well. Titan Cash shows what we're expecting for this afternoon. Partly to mostly cloudy skies, but we'll see those clouds on the increase through the afternoon. Then as this warm front approaches the area, could see some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms through the later part of this afternoon and into the overnight hours as well. Could even see some very early morning scattered showers Friday, but for the most part, we should just see those mostly cloudy skies through the day Friday. Higher temperatures and higher humidity Friday. Friday as well. Then as the cold front approaches our area could see some stronger storms through the overnight hours Friday and into Saturday, but then sun is the story starting off next week. Hi, this is Neo. I want to share with you Jessie's story. When she was just 10 years old, Jessie Rodriguez underwent a liver transplant. A traumatic event like that can be devastating. It is during these moments that the bond of a family becomes essential. Through the most challenging times, the Rodriguez family has been able to stay at a nearby Ronald McDonald house to be with Jessie as she undergoes treatment. Thanks to generous donations, children like Jessie are able to maintain hope with the help of Ronald McDonald House Charities. To find out how you can help, go to rmhc.org. the AccuWeather.com national forecast. I'm Kate Bilo. Let's take a look at what's happening across the nation as we go through this Thursday. Well, the front that moved through the northeast last night is now off the coast, but you can see that frontal boundary. You can kind of picture where it extends right down through the southeast and back into the central and southern plains. And right along that old frontal boundary as it stalls out, it will generate another round of locally soaking thunderstorms, especially through the course of the afternoon when we get the sun out, heat up the surface. We've got all this surface moisture also pulled in from the Gulf of Mexico. It's a dry day across the Great Lakes, but we've got a warm front lifting up through portions of the Northern Plains that could spark off the threat for severe weather this afternoon in portions of North Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And meanwhile, the heat continues in the West, although a little bit of relief for portions of the Pacific Northwest today with an advancing cool front. So watch for, again, a locally heavy thunderstorm in Atlanta, Miami just a shower, New York and Chicago dry and sunny, beautiful today, Dallas hot, a little bit uncomfortable, but it is mostly sunny and we'll see sunshine along the West Coast as well. Seattle, a little bit cooler today at 72, Denver though gets to 90. Four. Chicago's at 86, as is New York. Dallas, 96. And AccuWeather.com real field temperatures say it's going to feel like it's in the triple digits today. And here's a look at tonight's lows across the United States from AccuWeather.com. Your Titan cast forecast for the next couple of days looks like this. Thursday, we're going to start off the day mostly cloudy, but then we do see the chance for some evening and afternoon showers moving in as this warm front approaches our area. This will lift through the area today. We'll see those temperatures on the increase and the humidity on the increase as well. And that also brings us that chance for some evening showers tonight and into the early parts of Friday. Then Friday and into Saturday, this warm front will lift through the area. We'll see mostly cloudy skies through much of the day Friday. Then
Welcome to 24 7 weather. Right here at the bottom of your screen, you can always find your local forecast. And off to the side, you can find your local radar, your current conditions, and any severe weather alerts. 24 7 weather is brought to you by News Channel 7.